All right, well, I haven't done a Sudoku on the channel for a while, and I've been setting and solving some Sudokus recently, actually for Rank's channel. Rank has a series where he does a six by six Sudoku, and they're supposed to be more approachable is the idea. So if you're not familiar with some of these constraints, you should be able to still kind of do them. And he recently solved a puzzle that I had made. I'll leave a link in the description to that one. And I've also solved some puzzles on his channel as a guest solver. And I'll be doing another one in a few days. So you should go check out his series. But I thought I'd try a 6x6 that uh, was created by Akash Dulani. Which, apologies if that's not the right way to pronounce your name. But this is called Ren... It's just a Renban Crop Key Pairs Hybrid. It doesn't have any special name for this puzzle. Uh, because it's puzzle number 419 on... Akash's blog, um, so you'll notice that there are tons of puzzles on here, and so I'm sure, you know, at some point you can't come up with a fancy name for all of them. 419 puzzles is a lot, and there's more on here than that. This was just recently on April 3rd, so link to Akash's site as well. Go check that out. Lots of good stuff there. But I am going to solve puzzle number 419 today, so the rules, we've got normal Sudoku rules, so you can't repeat a digit in any row or column or two by three box on this six by six Sudoku. Uh, the purple lines are Renban lines, which means the digits on those lines are consecutive digits in some order. So you could do one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, etc., and they could be in any order. So you could do like one, two, three, four, something like that, or it doesn't really matter, but they have to be, you couldn't do one, two, three, five, right? Um, and then the dots, the white dots are consecutive digits or digits that have a difference of one. So you could put one and two, two and three, three and four, etc. The black dots separate digits that are a one to two ratio. So again, one and two, two and four, something like that. Four and eight would normally work, but there's no eights in this grid because it's a six by six. And that's all we need to know for the rules. Uh, not all the dots are necessarily given, so you can have you know, a two next to a four somewhere else and it's okay. So with that, I'm going to reset the timer, and here we go. So, I mean, the dots is obviously the place to start, right? So we've got two black dots over here in the same column. So one of them could be a 1, 2, or a 2, 4, but not both because they need to have a 2. So one of them has to be a 3, 6. So let's just, I don't know, let's say this one's 3, 6 up here. It could be either one, but I'm just going to kind of figure out the possibilities because I think it's pretty limited here. So 3, 6, and then this one would have to be 2 or 4 if it was next to the 3, or a five if it's next to the six, because it's consecutive, right? So now we know the three, six pair means we can't use a three or a six down here at all. So let's say we could do one, two, and then you'd have to have a three, but because the, for the two, you have to have a one or a three connected to it. You can't repeat the one. It would have to be a three, but we can't do a three. So you can't do one, two. Could you do, and you can't do two, one, because this would have to be another two. You could do two, four. This would have to be three or five, but it can't be three, so it would have to be a five. You could do four, two, but it can't be a three. It would have to be a one. So these are the options. And of course, we can swap the black and white, you know, the top three with the bottom three. But, but the two, four then rules that out, so that means that is five. So it's going to be three. Uh, three, six, five is one of them. And then the other one is going to be four, two, one. They've got to be those two options or flip-flops. So let's do four, three, two, six, five, one. So it's like this. Those are the options for those digits. Okay, now over here, ooh, the three, the three whites in a row helps a lot because, um, ooh, but does it have to be, it doesn't necessarily have to be one, two, three, or four, five, six, does it? Because it could also be like, you know, if this was one, two, it can't be this, but let's say one, two, six down here, you could do three, four, five in the middle, right? But I think it's probably going to be one, two, three. Okay, so let's think about if if you have a one or a six up here, though, then it has to be one, two, three, or four, five, six, right? So the only way that this isn't one, two, three, or four, five, six is if one and six are down here. But if six, if, if the six is on the black dot, then it's three and six, and you're not gonna be able to put a one. And if a one is on the black dot, then it's one and two, and you're not gonna be able to put a six there. So there's so this is one, two, three, or four, five, six, which means this is one, two, three, or four, five, six. If this was four, five, six, what would you possibly put on the black dot? Nothing, nothing, that's not gonna work. So these are one, two, and three, which means they have to be in this order. 
That is a three. These are four, five, and six, like that. We don't know which direction they go, but is that gonna help us over here? Oh, and this has to be uh, one and two. It has to be in that order. Okay, so yep, so six, five, three, four, two, one. And the four is gonna give us the six and the four. And now the six on the Ren band means this has to be three, four, five, six. And this can't be three or five, so it's a four. This can't be three, so it's a five. That's a three. There we go, very nice. Now this five, it could be six, five, four, three. Or it could be five, four, three, two. There's definitely a four and a three on there though. This one can't be a four. This one can't be a four. This is a four. There's a three and the three there means that can't be a three. So this is a three. The other one is a two or a six. I don't think we know which one yet. I think it could be either one. Okay, so let's look down here where we've got three, uh, three digits already in some of the rows. So this is going to be two, four, and six. This one can't be, oh, these two can't be two. So this is the two over here, that four there tells us four and six. This is now a five. These are one and four. And the four up above gives us the order. These are one, two, and six. That one can't be a six. This one can't be a one, and that one can't be a two. <laughs> uh, oh, and this is, yeah, so the one has to be here, because neither one of those can be a one, so obviously. And these, uh, and that's the six then tells us two, six. Um, these are one and five, right? Yeah, one and five, that's a one and a five and a two. Uh, the two makes that a six. This is a one. These are two and three up here, and the two over there gives us the order. This is six. And then we've got three and five left, and there we go. Very nice. All right, well, these strings of dots are always much more limited than they might seem at first, and so very cool. And I like the idea of then forcing the six, which forced the digits on the Ren band. And this one had a couple of options, but not too many with the five there. So very neat. All right, well, thank you to Akash for making that puzzle. And go check out Akash's blog and all of the wonderful puzzles on there. And there's even some books you can buy full of puzzles. And I've done several of Akash's puzzles before and they've always been great. So I would highly recommend them. And let me know if you'd like to see me do some more Sudoku in the future on the channel. I used to do Sudoku more and then I haven't done it so much recently. So let me know if you'd like to see more of these in the future. And of course, go check out Rank's solve of my puzzle on his channel from the other day. And be sure to subscribe to me and Rank's and Akash's blog and all the things. And we'll see you soon with some more puzzles.